Hi everyone and welcome back to the Greatness Everyday YouTube channel. My name is Matt and in this video I'm going to share with you Dave Ramsey's seven baby steps to building wealth. And if you don't know who Dave Ramsey is, he is an American businessman. He is a financial advisor that has been doing what he's been doing on his radio show, on his YouTube channel, um, and other places as well since the early 90s. And he's got a great story. I, I would share a lot of the values that he shares and talks about whether it's talking about money, yes, but also leadership, life, faith in general. Um, so Dave Ramsey is someone that uh, myself and many other people look to for advice when they look to build wealth. And with his seven baby steps, he's given a process that he has used with millions of people all over the world to really go ahead and, and use their money better and create wealth and pay off debts, um, buy a new home, just build um, generational wealth, which is something that so many of us out there are trying to do. So with this video, I want to share these seven baby steps and then I want to go ahead, uh, kind of analyze where I'm at and also get you to do the same so we both can figure out what our next steps are and what they should be. So with this video, let's get started into Dave Ramsey's seven baby steps to building wealth. The very first step, step one, is to save $1,000 for your starter emergency fund. And this is what uh, a lot of people do not have. They just have a bank account, money goes in, money goes out. They don't really have that emergency fund, say if they needed it, in case they lost their job, in case something came up where they needed uh, to replace their vehicle or another emergency. The very first step to do is save $1,000 for your starter emergency fund and we'll revisit that in a few steps. The second step is to pay off the debt that you have, excluding obviously your house and your mortgage, um, but pay off any debt that you have using something that Dave Ramsey calls the debt snowball. And with this, I'm going to make a larger video on it here in the future if you want uh, more information about the debt snowball. But very briefly, what he says to do is he says to pay off the debts that you have in order from smallest to largest, regardless of the interest rates that come with those different debts. And there's a reason for this and I really like this idea in this method because as you're paying off your smaller debts, what you're doing is you're building momentum over time. You're paying off the first, second, third, maybe you've got more than that and you build momentum and you really kind of um, know that you can number one, achieve the goal and then you're building momentum to carry that through throughout uh, the rest of your debt. So I really like the debt snowball. If you wanna know um, more about what it is in a little bit more detail, why not go hit the thumbs up button and that'll tell me that you want a video about the debt snowball coming up soon. So I'll go ahead and do that. The third step is to save three to six months of money towards your emergency fund. So what this means is if you were to take the regular cost of living for one month in your life and you would uh, go ahead and let's say it's $2,000, so two grand you need to live for one month, you would at least want to have three months worth. You would at least want to have $6,000 in your final emergency fund uh, in case you need it. At any time, you can go ahead and give yourself some more comfort room. Three to six months is generally what they recommend, but if you want to do more than that, you can, but make sure that if you ever need that, you only access that in the case of an emergency. So that is the third piece. Uh, number four, step number four is to invest 15% of your income for retirement. And there are many benefits of this. I don't have to go over them here, but you should be investing a regular automatic percent of investments, whether that is in a, a company um, or a stock that you know a lot about, you've done your research, it is in a good financial financial state and the outlook of the growth of that stock looks good. Maybe you want to put it into an index fund or an ETF uh, to diversify that a little bit more, but you should be investing 15% into a retirement fund, something that you can access when and, and when you retire. Uh, Step number five is to save towards your children's college fund. So you might decide you're going to put 5% of your uh, Regular income into a college fund for your child, that might be something that you choose to do. It might be a greater percent, it might be a smaller percent that your children will be able to access 
uh, when and if they go ahead and do something after uh, their regular schooling. So that is step number five. Step number six is to pay off your home early. And we all know that with housing mortgages, they come with many different um, conditions, many different restrictions that are on them. And regardless of whatever situation you find yourself in, your goal should be to pay off your home early by putting lump sum payments in, by increasing the amount. Um, you should be doing this because you're gonna save a lot of money in the long run if possible. So that is step number six. And the seventh step is to build wealth and give back. And it doesn't matter who you're giving to or how much, whether it is your church, it's a religious organization, it's a family that has been um, impacted by the past few months, what we've been going through, um, or it's a community organization that you see and you've identified a need there. You're able to give your time, you're able to give your money, you're able to give your energy into helping them and I'm a firm believer that whether we're talking about money whether we're talking about time or energy whatever we're talking about giving away and giving back to people we're going to receive um, many different things as a result of that and that's something that in my life I can speak to um, I have many different stories about that um, and I hope that if this is not a part of your life yet, you really focus on doing this and ultimately giving back and making a difference in your community. So these are Dave Ramsey's seven steps. He calls them the seven baby steps to build wealth. I really like them because they are super simple. Um, there's a, a very obvious procedure that's there as well. And, and if I look at this right now, um, I would go down and say number one, two, three, four, I'm doing all of those things five and six uh, I'm not at a place in my life where I am doing that um, I'm looking to add some of those things for example today I just went and looked at um, kind of the whole housing procedure and when do I want to buy a house by and kind of setting some goals for that uh, but I am in number seven I am looking at increasing my net worth I am looking at building wealth and ultimately, while I'm doing this, I am actively practicing giving back in the ways that I want to. So um, I'm going to challenge you, where are you on this list? Where do you want to be on this list as well? And ultimately, to complete this whole seven steps to building wealth, what is your next step? What is the next thing that you need to do in order to make that happen? So let me know down in the comments below. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos related to living your greatest life through personal development, health, and wealth. I really appreciate you watching this video. Remember, choose greatness every day, and I'll see you next time.